for joining us today on how to be a ISA millionaire webinar. This is episode two of a three part series before the start of the new tax year and before the end of this tax year where you may lose your £20,000 ISA allowance if not utilised before the 5th of April. This webinar isn't financial advice. During the webinar, we will be talking about uh, investing, returns. We'll be talking about different opportunities and different ways that you can invest. Uh, this webinar is designed and intended for sophisticated and high net worth individuals only. Obviously, your capital is at risk and you may lose all that you lend uh, with investment opportunities that we're talking about today. And peer to peer investments are not covered by the FSCS, the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. And legal charges are registered against the properties for what we do at Source Capital. However, property values may go up or down and investments are illiquid. This is myself, John Wilson. I've been a Investor Relations Director at Source Capital since 2019. I have personally over a decade's worth of experience uh, in a mix of different asset classes, direct property ownership, uh, property third party loans, utilising platforms, uh, stocks and shares investments, crypto investments and commodities. Throughout the webinar, we'll be talking about multiple different uh, sections and avenues where you can become an ISA millionaire, mainly looking at is it possible? How do you achieve it or what key actions are required? How to combine peer to peer investing with tax free uh, returns? An overview of sourced capital, uh, compound interest and how powerful is it? Is it right to do it inside or outside an ISA? And how to invest with sourced capital plus an invitation to our next webinar? Episode one is available online. Uh, there will be a link just outside of this video for you to click on episode one, where we talked about a cash ISA versus a IF ISA, the drawbacks of both, the benefits of both, and ultimately which one is right to earn a return over a period of time. There are different types of ISAs. You've got a cash ISA, stocks and shares ISA, innovative finance ISA, or a lifetime ISA. They all do have a limit of £20,000 per annum, apart from a lifetime ISA, where you only get £4,000 worth of the eligible uh, bonus from the government. The cash ISA is generally a low risk investment. It's covered by the financial services compensation scheme up to £85,000. Uh, however, you do generally get low returns. The base rate has been increasing uh, regularly over the last few months, as I'm sure everyone watching is aware. Uh, we're now at around about 4% as uh, the top benchmark for cash ISAs. And that's generally typically looking at a two to three year ISA and you're fixed into the ISA duration. Socks and shares ISAs, uh, low to medium to high risk, depending on the type of investment that you make, whether you're self-managing it, whether you've got a fund manager, um, you, you've got different elements of risk with it. Uh, there is a greater element of risk if you're managing that yourself. Uh, I think it's over 76% of investors lose money. Um, you've got uh, performance fees and management fees during a uh, an investment in stocks and shares. However, the returns can be very high uh, alongside the risk ultimately being high as well. Innovative finance ISAs, so IF ISAs, which we'll talk about mainly today, are medium to high risk depending on the type of loan and depending on the nature of the security held. Innovative finance ISAs cover crowdfunding and peer-to-peer, -peer, a mix of different asset classes within those classifications. So it could be investments into businesses, investments into charities, investments into what we do at Source Capital, uh, property developments. The returns generally vary uh, from around about 5 to 12% per annum. It could be a debt-based investment or it could be an equity-based investment. That's a key difference between crowdfunding and peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. And your lifetime ISAs, which we don't really talk about too much in terms of a uh, investment class because you can only utilize lifetime ISAs for either uh, buying a first property or for retirement. Uh, but they generally follow the same rules as cash ISAs or stocks and shares ISAs, just in a slightly different uh, banner. 
So what is an IF ISA? Uh, innovative Finance ISA, as we mentioned, allows investments into alternative forms of finance, such as peer-to-peer -peer lending. It's a tax wrapper, so all investments made into peer-to-peer -peer loans through the tax wrapper are exempt from any income or capital gains tax. So here is what everyone's uh, wanting and how we achieve that. Uh, we'll talk about in a few slides time, but how can you become an millionaire and is it realistically possible? So firstly, it's not a quick rich scheme. It's not something that you'll be able to achieve within a year, two years of investing due to the limitations that you have with uh, um, the amounts that you can put into the ISA. But over time, as that portfolio starts to build year on year on year, it becomes more than achievable. So the first thing that you need to do is create your strategy, look at how you're wanting to invest, looking at what you want to achieve over the lifetime of that investment and what asset classes you want to be involved in. Create a goal. So the goal that we're talking about today is obviously becoming an ISA millionaire. However, that goal could be completely different for everyone watching. So create your goal, stick to it, have a strategy in place to help you achieve it. Be organized. So with peer-to-peer uh, -peer loans in property developments, they're generally short term, six to 18 months. So you'd want to make sure that you're on top of those loans, both when they're active, so you're understanding exactly how your investment's performing, but more importantly, waiting on having an awareness of when that project's due to expire, so then you can ultimately uh, compound that interest and reinvest that capital plus the interest into another project. And you can only do that by being extremely organized and knowing when all of your investments are due to mature. Be resilient. It's like I said before, it's a longer term gain. There will be things that happen over the duration of investments, which mean that ultimately your goal may need to change slightly. There could be potential losses of capital. There could be delays. Uh, there could be a, a lower performing asset than what you expected. So be resilient and be patient. It's not a, a scheme that is going to make you a millionaire within a year or two years. This is a longer term strategy. Be aware of that when you're going in at the start of this strategy. And be consistent. Regularly make re uh, payments into an ISA. Regularly make those reinvestments. But be flexible. Life uh, cycles happen. Things happen that are in or out of your control. And things alter your path ultimately. So make sure that you're able to divert should you need to. And stay away from negative emotions when being involved in any investment. Negative emotions and the, the angry face on the screen suggests that that always means that you're upset, frustrated, disappointed. However, a negative emotion within investing could be that you're over, overly happy with an investment and you start to make that investment more regularly without continuing to do the same level of due diligence. So you become overly um, confident with that investment. So every single time that you make an investment, go back to the beginning, start the due diligence process again, make sure that you're still fully comfortable with that investment. So to understand how to become an ISA millionaire using an IF ISA, firstly, we need to understand what peer-to-peer -peer is and how peer-to-peer -peer operate. So peer-to-peer -peer is a form of direct lending of money to individuals or businesses with or without a financial institution uh, in the middle. So generally, you've got a peer-to-peer -peer platform, which is done through an online platform, uh, which effectively is a matchmaker between a borrower, someone who's looking for capital in uh, anticipation of um, a project going live or something that they need to use that capital for. They're willing to pay a return to investors. On the other side of it is an investor. They've got capital. They're looking to deploy it in order to receive a return. And then a platform sits in the middle, facilitating all of that, completing the due diligence on the project and on the borrowers and um, offering a platform for you to be able to invest into and then withdraw from at the end of the project. They'll manage that throughout the project as well. So how do you uh, choose a platform? There's a few key components to this. What type of asset is it? And what is the average term of that investment? 
Do you have any ultimate control of where your money goes or is it invested into an auto invest feature or a fund or uh, anything like that? Are you able to diversify your investments uh, as in how you choose to? Can you conduct your own due diligence on the due diligence provided and what due diligence is provided? Can you check their repayment rates? Can you check how uh, they perform so far to date? If they are an FCA regulated platform, they will need to show that on their website. And how can you invest? The strategy that we're talking about today is investing through an IF ISA. Can you actually invest through an ISA? Can you transfer in to that ISA? Can you transfer out from that ISA? So an overview of sourced capital. Source capital are an arm of the sourced group. So I'll list all the, the key um, arms uh, just below. So the, the lifeblood of the sourced ecosystem is sourced franchise. So we have over 185 franchise offices nationwide. Each one of those franchise offices are involved in property. They are property professionals. It could be that their strategy is purely to uh, buy, refurb, refinance without the ut utilization of funding. It could be that they're looking to source and package deal deals. It could be that they're just looking to um, educate themselves in property to build their own portfolio. If any of the franchisees are looking for funding, they can use the source capital arm of the business, which is the FCA regulated peer to peer platform. The unique nature of uh, source capital means that we can only uh, fund our franchisees deals. So we don't do any third party lending outside the franchise, which means that we know our borrowers uh, slightly better. We know what they've done in the past. We know what they're looking to achieve in the future. We've also got the source property uh, app, which is an app based uh, for our franchisees to sell their opportunities to investors looking to purchase properties directly. And we also have our source development arm of the business in which we develop properties uh, either through utilizing the source capital platform or by utilizing uh, funding elsewhere. So how does it work? So an investor would choose a uh, property project to invest their funds into. Once a project's been uh, fully funded, the uh, money is lent to the borrowers. So if we're raising a million pounds and 500,000 pounds of that is for the purchase, 500,000 is for the development, the million pound isn't released on day one to the developer. It's released enough for the purchase and then the remaining funds are held separate and then those funds are to be utilized for the uh, development of that property project. Once the uh, property project uh, has come through to a successful close, through the duration of that project, investors have been earning interest on a daily balance basis. At the end of the project, investors are repaid back into, if it was through an ISA, back into the ISA, if it was through a corporate company, back into the source capital wallet, that they're then able to either reinvest, they could choose a new project to do so with, they can withdraw their funds, or if it's through an ISA, they can transfer that through to another provider. So it's got Source capital lending explained in a little bit more depth. So we would have a number of investors investing in one particular loan. Those funds then are utilized to purchase a property. Once a property is purchased by the borrowing SPB, borrowing limited company, special purpose vehicle, then the security of a first legal charge, a personal guarantee, a company debenture over that SPB will be registered on behalf of all investors by a security trust. Upon the successful close of the loan, providing everything goes well, investors earn their quoted rates of return, 10 or 12%. There are no fees uh, payable as an investor, and then the platform would receive their fee uh, from the borrower out of the proceeds. So source capital offers short-term loans, uh, generally between six to 18 months, to property developers through an FCA regulated peer-to-peer -peer platform to allow or to facilitate uh, the purchase and development of those opportunities. All of the time, uh, every single investor would benefit from a first ranking legal charge. To date so far, we have a 100% repayment rate. That doesn't mean that uh, in the future uh, that we will continue to have that. Obviously past performance isn't a clear indicator of future returns. 
We offered up to 12% returns per annum. To date, we've had zero losses of both capital and expected interest, and the figures are just below. We've raised just over £42.5 million. Pounds. We've uh, repaid just under £16.5 million pounds, uh, with around about £2.8 million pounds worth of interest repaid with an average long to value to GDV. We have done previous webinars if some of these terminologies are a little bit confusing, but long to value to GDV, how much is being raised for how much the end value, the done up value of that property will be. And as we've mentioned throughout, your capital is at risk with any investments that you make and you may lose all that you lend. Uh, the figures above are correct as of the start of February and continue to be uh, up until the recording of this on the 25th of February. As a platform, we are an award-winning platform. We received the IF ISA Provider of the Year at the uh, 2022 Peer-to-Peer -peer Finance News Awards. Uh, there's a quote there from Steve that I'll leave on the screen for a few seconds to let you read. So during the next stage, where we're looking at how to actually become an ISA millionaire. We'll have a look at a, a few uh, calculations. There have been some key assumptions made throughout this. So the first key assumption is that there will be regular deposits made. We'll be working on a 12 monthly compounding basis. So every year is when uh, the funds are compounded, the interest is added to the capital. And at that point, that's when you start to uh, reinvest those funds into a project. Not always will this be accurate during the lifetime of an investment. The average term with source capital is 12 months. However, as I've mentioned, it's six to 18 months. Uh, you pick the specific project that we invest into, so you know exactly how long that term time is. We're also assuming that there's no cash drag. There's no delay between one investment and another. There could be a delay. It could be that you're waiting for the right opportunity. It could be that uh, there isn't an opportunity at the time. It could be that you're looking to transfer away to another IF ISA provider or another ISA provider. Uh, so we're assuming that there's no cash drag. We're basing this on the source capital rate of return of up to 12%. And we're adding those additional funds at the start of every year. And there's no ad adjustment made throughout for a potential loss or potential losses. And we're assuming that there are no platform fees throughout. So calculation one, we're looking at taking that 20,000 of a first year's allocation and turning that into uh, a million pounds. So we're at a, a time currently, uh, just before the end of the 2022-2023 uh, tax year, where in theory you're able to invest 40,000 within a few weeks. If you utilize this year's allocation, and utilize next year's allocation straight away, then you'll be able to um, effectively invest £40,000. So that's what we've done here. We've started with 20000 this year, and within a few weeks, we've added 20000 straight away. So the interest within that first year is £4,800 because we've effectively had £40,000 invested. And you see throughout the, the duration of this process, how quickly those funds start to accrue and you see how much that interest starts to build and the accrued interest for one year at the end of um, at the end of the term is seven hundred and forty thousand pounds well more than what was originally put in through total deposits which was three hundred and forty thousand pounds so in the 16th year you can see that with an additional twenty thousand in you're looking to achieve a hundred and fifteen thousand pounds worth of interest purely because that's built up year after year after year. And you've got that capital plus the interest building to allow you to now get to a million pounds. Like I said before, it's not a, it's not a method that will make you rich quick. It's a longer term strategy, but one that's more than achievable. Uh, to date, there's over 2000 uh, ISA millionaires. So during the uh, setup of the webinar, we asked the attendees uh, what their current uh, ISA portfolio looks like and how much capital they have currently. 
within that portfolio. And the, the majority of people had 150, 200, 250,000 already built up. So we've done another calculation from 150,000 to a million. And we see with a, a greater starting point, how much quicker that is to build to uh, that million pounds mark. So within 12 years, we've taken 150,000 uh, pounds to just over 1.1 million pounds. Oh, a question that came through as well is regarding the uh, the calculator. We use just a simple compound interest calculator. I believe it's on the, the calculator site. You can type in your own numbers, type in your own goals, um, adjust for how many years or how often you'll be compounding, and it'll come up with these two graphs pretty quickly. So we've worked another one based on smaller year deposits. Obviously, uh, we're not aiming here now at uh, achieving the million pounds, but we're putting in 20,000 at the, the beginning, and every year we're putting in an additional 5,000. And again, you can see how powerful this tool is. You can see that we've now taken what is uh, 95,000 pounds worth of initial deposits to uh, 318,000 with accrued interest of 223,000. So one that we've, we've looked at and how to make that first million uh, from 20,000 or 150,000. But once you start to build it, providing you're, again, not looking to get to a million pounds, pull out all of the funds, which will be completely tax free at the time. Um, you're now looking at generating that secondary million pounds. And that would only take five years. Again, as soon as you've achieved your two million to achieve another million pounds on top of that, it's shortened again and again and again and again. So once you've started to build that wealth through the ISA, if you can keep it within the ISA and continue to utilize that, that's how you'll start to generate extreme wealth. So investing with source capital through your IF ISA, there's two ways to do that. You can create a new IF ISA. So to do that, once you're registering on the pro on the platform, there's a button to click uh, Create IF ISA. You'll enter your national insurance number into there, and then you'll be able to set that uh, ISA live. You are able to invest into multiple different ISAs. So we've spoken about the stocks and shares ISA, spoken about a cash ISA and an IF ISA. You can fund all of those within one tax year. The uh, limit is still £20,000, so you can't exceed that £20,000. However, you can put funds into multiple ISAs. What you can't do is fund multiple of the same breed of ISA. So if you've got a stocks and shares ISA and you put £1,000 in, and you want to put another £10,000 in a different stocks and shares ISA within the same tax year, that can't be done. So you can transfer your existing ISA as well. So there's a few things to check when transferring your ISA. One is the transfer value. Two would be to see if there are any fees. And three would make sure that you're not locked into any of those uh, ISAs that you're currently with. And if you are, what are the penalties involved? Timing of the transfer is crucial as well. You want to make sure that you're happy with the end transfer value before you start to look to uh, move to another provider. And the clear tax benefits by keeping the funds within the ISA wrapper, what we've spoken about today, you can move those from one provider to another to a third, uh, and you'll always keep it within the wrapper with tax free returns. And a transfer does not count towards your allocation. So if you've built up your ISA to £100,000 and you transfer that to another provider, you're still able to invest. £20,000 worth of fresh capital into the ISA within that tax year. As we spoke about earlier, the ISA deadline is looming on the 5th of April 2023. We will have another webinar uh, coming shortly, which is a free webinar again. The ISA deadline, use it or lose it. We'll be talking about a few tips and tricks of how to utilise your allowance for this year. Um, even if you're not ready to actively deploy that currently and just save that allocation for next year, we'll talk about all of that uh, in the next webinar and actually what are the penalties or what are the drawbacks with not utilising the ISA. 
So we did have a couple of questions throughout the webinar that we'll uh, run through now. So I've got one question uh, regarding how can I get the money out of the source capital platform once I've invested? It's quite simple. You can either do a transfer out to another platform. You can uh, withdraw that straight into your bank account, whether you do an investment through an IFI so, or through a regular cash uh, or regular cash investment or a corporate investment. Uh, I've got a question which came through earlier, which we've explained. How long does it take to open an IFI, sir? Uh, the process to open it is extremely simple, a few minutes. Uh, it should only take probably 15, 20 minutes to become a verified ISA. A transfer from one provider to another can take a lot longer. That could take up to 28 days. However, generally, providing the transfer has been filled in accurately, that'll take no more than a few days. Uh, one regarding uh, what are the competitors of Source Capital and how does Source Capital fare against them? So uh, there are a number of peer-to-peer -peer platforms which uh, offer regulated first charge investment loans. Uh, generally across the board, we see uh, interest rates of around about 6 to 9%, 10%, 11%. Uh, we're leading the way in terms of the return and the security being first charge. Uh, the loan to value ratios are a, a complete mix across the board from different invest, uh, investment opportunities, including within our own platform. Uh, so we're very comfortable with where we are in the market and what we offer our investors and what we've achieved to date. Uh, can I open a IF ISA if I'm not a UK national as I am working abroad? The IF ISAs and other ISAs are only available for UK residents. So if you've created an ISA previously and previously funded an ISA and now you want to continue to invest that without adding further funds, you can do that without being a UK resident, but you can't put any further funds into the ISA. Uh, is this compounding effect via sourced only or is it ISAs in general? Uh, to be honest, it's any investment in general, whether that's stocks and shares, whether it's uh, working in short-term property development loans, any investment that you're gaining a return on over time, and then you reinvest that, that will start to, uh, to build a compounding effect. The key difference with doing it in a tax wrapper and doing it outside of a wrapper is that inside a wrapper, it'll save a lot of time in terms of building that compounded wealth because you're not paying tax every single year on those funds return. If you're paying tax on those funds returned, it'll take a lot longer to achieve uh, the goal because every single year you're losing potentially 40% every single time that you're repaid. Uh, so that was all of the questions. I hope you've enjoyed today's webinar. Uh, this is still on the screen for you to scan in uh, to come on board for the next free webinar. Any questions, any queries that you have in the meantime, please do get in touch with Sourced Capital and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much. See you all soon.